Welcome to Neo Royal House of Pricey Cardboard. On today's episode of Competitive Commander Gameplay, we are joined by none other than Beyond the Machina. Drew is a super talented artist doing mostly art in black and white. Check him out on Twitter and Instagram. He has merch available on Inked Gaming for play masks and Red Bubble for clothing. Drew brought today's version of Krakashima. This IZ partner pairing is trying to get at least two Krarks on the battlefield and use their copy and return to end triggers to basically get free buyback on all instants and sorceries. The more Krark, the easier to go quote unquote infinite. Our second guest today is Proxylab, our local angry goose. Check him out on Twitter for occasional proxies and hot sauce updates. Like last time, Proxy is playing his OG CDH deck, Tiffery Chain Veil. This deck is trying to ramp out with artifacts and using the Chain Veil go infinite with Tiffery's and Tezzeret's untapped ability. Last but not least, our good friend Jiro aka Unsummon Skull is rocking his mono blue flying man. This is a budget CDH brew trying to win the game with low costed flyers and card advantage in the command zone. Very similar to Edric in terms of strategy. The deck can win by combat damage by taking multiple extra turns. For myself, I brought my Yuriko the Tiger's Shadow. This is the pivot decklist on the database, looking to deal good amount of damage with Yuriko's triggers and draw into either Tassa's Oracle or a Doomsday line. The deck is still running a good amount of higher CMC spells, so taking my opponent out without combo is definitely an option. Proxy's opening hand contains Karn the Great Creator, Mental Misstep, Chain of Vapors, Preordain, Arcane Signet, Polluted Delta, and a basic island. Jiro's opening hand contains Signal Pest, Hypnotic Sprite, Sprite Noble, Military Intelligence, Temporal Trespass, and two basic islands. Drew's opening hand contains Phantasmal Image, Cackling Counterpart, Mystic Remora, Remand, Soul Ring, Polluted Delta, and a basic island. My opening hand contains Changeling Outcast, Phantasmal Image, Cyclonic Rift, Submerge, Shizu Dead Storehouse, Tarnished Citadel, and a Basic Island. Drew gets to start this off. And then drops a Polluted Delta, cracking it for a Volcanic Island. He then casts a turn 1 Mystic Remora. Proxy reacts with Mental Misstep. No fish for you, good sir. Allen drop Shizu Dead Storehouse and cast Changeling Outcast. Proxy land up his own Polter Delta, cracking it for a basic island. He then casts Preordain. Singer Proxy sent me this, which Echo of Aeons. I love his stuff. He's a very, yeah, he, he is a gra he's straight up graphic artist. Yeah. He, he, and he uses the symbols very well. Skull land drops an island and cast Hypnotic Siren, passing. Julian drops an island. He casts a Soul Ring and a Barrel, Chief of Compliance. I land drop an island. Megan's awesome. Some of, so, hey, when I didn't know anybody, I kind of had it on me because some of her tweets are kind of kind of funny, but 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 weird. But personality, she's awesome, and I like I like her her style. She's also got her, yeah, her own style. Right. Dang. I'm gonna piss off Proxy. <laughs> Don't do it. But Don't they have do blockers. It. <laughs> <laughs> and I said my uh, one one to Proxy. I don't even have the lowest or highest life. Oh, that, that's not how it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm know. gonna yeah, ninjutsu yeah. Yuriko. It's so, CDH. I'm not really gonna get triggered. Heading into combat, my changeling goes to Proxy. Before damage, I ninjutsu my commander, Yuriko, the tiger's shadow. They're already here. On damage, I reveal misdirection, making my opponents lose 5. Proxy land drops an island and casts Arcan Signet. Jiro untaps and starts with combat. And now comes the question of where do I swing? Go that way. That way. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go in Neo. He sends the siren to me. In second main, he casts Signal Pest and pass. At Drew's upkeep, Proxy Chains of Vapor is Soul Ring. Drew then draws and then drops Mana Confluence. 
he recast Soaring and followed it up with a Rhystic Steady. That was an altar. Yeah, that's a hard altar. It's yeah. Mike's sad from playing with power. Okay, yeah, he does some good stuff. Yeah, I shared all of his stuff as much as I can. Yeah, for like as a birthday gift to myself. I'll end up a tarnished citadel. Going to combat, I send Yuriko to proxy. On damage, I reveal a land. In second main, I recast Changeling Outcast, paying for the steady. I then cast Kit Action Probe, paying 2 life and attacks. I look at Drew's hand and pass. Proxy lands up an island and casts Karn the Great Creator, turning off our mana rocks. Using the plus 1, he turns his signet into a 2 2 before passing. Jiro lands up an island and casts Military Intelligence. He then goes to combat and attacks me with Signal, Pest, and the Siren. On his turn, Drew cast his first commander, Krark the Tomless. Live by the coin or die by the coin. Double or nothing. <gasps> Low on mana because of Karn, he passes. I'll end up a Morphic Pool, and for my combat step, I send Yuriko and the Outcast to Jiro. On damage, I reveal Tessa's Oracle and I drew the Steel Wind, making my opponents lose 7. In second main, I cast Phantasmal Image, entering as a second Changeling Outcast. Proxy lands up an island and cast Jace the Mind Sculptor, using the Zero to brainstorm. He then casts Mana Crypt and Pass. Zero lands up an island. He then heads into combat, attacking me once more for 2 damage and a draw. Drew land drops Emergence Zone and casts his second commander, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. Here comes trouble. Make it double! I react to the cast with Cyclonic Riff, targeting Krark. Proxy reacts with Force of Will, targeting my Cyclonic Rift. You want double Krark? <laughs> I have no man to do it you. Yeah, he's got little and it might give us a little bit of an advantage. I have another reaction and cast Misdirection, changing the target of Force of Will to Sakashima. So in the end, Krark is back to Drew's hand and Sakashima is countered. Drew then passes. I end up a Drowned Catacombs. Going to combat, I send my two Changeling Outcasts to Jiro and my Commander to Drew. Jiro has a reaction to attackers and casts Aetherize, returning my board to my hand. In second main, I cast Friction Walker, I recast Changing Outcast, and finally Fort Bridge Crawler, paying for the study each time. On ETB, I give minus one minus one to the Hypnotic Siren. Proxy loses his Mana Crypt roll. He then uses Jace Zero to brainstorm again. He casts Time Spiral. We shuffle up and draw a new 7. Proxy lands up an island and casts Mana Vapors targeting me. He then casts Merchant Scroll. No, it's in the other deck! No, why? Two, three, why wouldn't I put it in four, here? Five, six, seven. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get Force of Negation. Revealing Force of Negation to the Tutor. G roll and drops an island and cast his commander, Siani, High of the Storm. He then cast Cloud Sprite and ship the turn to Drew. Drew and drops an Arid Mesa, cracking it for about 10. He then cast Void Snare on Karn. That return it to my hand? Yes. Sure. Have fun. Go nuts. <laughs> Are we getting windfall right now? Jeweled Lotus. Uh-oh. He cast a Jeweled Lotus and uses it to replay Karn. He then casts Jessica's Will, targeting me for 7. Krog triggers and return the spell to hand. Drew has enough mana to try it again, this time copying the sorcery and creating 14 red mana as well as exiling his top 6 cards to play until end of turn. Interesting. Well, mm -hmm. shouldn't have allowed it. Uh, 
Irika Sakashima entering as a second clerk. He then casts each Shimmer, holding priority, to flash in a dual caster mage. These two cards combo together to create an infinite amount of dual caster mages with haste. With the Fierce Guardianship as a backup to protect, this makes it really hard for anyone to interact with the combo. Closing this match. Well played. Alright. GG, gentlemen. GG. That was a yep. good game. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to check out all my guests on their respective social media and a big thank you to our supporters on Patreon for making this show possible. I'm really excited to record new gameplay with the new Royal Playmats, so be on the lookout for that. Take care my friend and we'll see you very soon.